you think? Good. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, April 23rd, 2019, and we're headed into work and school for the day. Grant is finally going back to school after how many days off? Four day weekend Grant had. That's incredible. He was off Friday for Good Friday and off yesterday, I believe it was for um, Easter. So they gave him Monday off or the Institute Day or something. But uh, yeah, he's such a lucky ducky. Uh, today's Tuesday. We're supposed to have a baseball game tonight. I don't know if it's going to rain at all, but we're supposed to have a baseball game. Um, Wednesday is tomorrow. I'm going to have to work late. So Brandon has a school thing tomorrow that I'm going to go to tomorrow morning. And then I have maintenance that starts at 7 p.m. So I'm going to miss his practice. And he has karate too tomorrow, I think. Um, Thursday, I'm going to go probably hang out with Nikki at some point. I'm going to probably have to cut the grass. Um, that started up. Uh, I think the first cut was last weekend. Um, my nephew Alden came over and cut the grass because I was um, traveling. Uh, so Thursday, Yay! I'm hoping Nikki feels better. Nikki went to the doctor yesterday and they told her she has an upper respiratory infection. And uh, I didn't ask her if the, they said that her ears were okay. <clears throat> my back's not okay. Yeah, Grant had an accident, he said, at his mom's house. What happened? Yeah, they weren't just any kind of stairs. What kind of stairs were they? Stone. Stone or concrete stairs. He, um, I guess he slipped and fell or something. We were uh, playing baseball and Andy Katie her arm out. Yeah. And I was trying to run to the base because it was the sidewalk. Oh, I see. And um, I fell on the stairs instead. Ouch. Yeah, you probably have to put the base somewhere I'm else. That's sliding safer. and yeah, we put them by the bricks. Yeah. Because it hurt less. Yeah. He's okay though, but uh, he went to fall and she tried to catch him and he, she kind of spun him around so he wouldn't smash his face on the on the concrete stairs. And my tummy. Yeah. I mean, I mean my tummy would be fine. Yeah. So it looks like it's going to be another nice day. It's already 53 degrees. The sun's just about to break, so it'll start warming up rapidly. Um, I'm tired. I was break the horizon, so we'll go above the horizon. Uh, we went to bed just after 8 o'clock, and I was up probably about 2. Um, I couldn't get back to sleep until after 4. So I had to do some more pictures. I did some laundry in the middle of the night. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else. But uh, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. We're just gonna have to try to get through this week and make it uh, make it day by day until I can get used to the time change. So um, yeah, stay tuned for more. All right, guys. So um, yeah, I was up in the middle of the night. I got um, I went through Nikki's cell phone photos and kind of edited and picked the pics and edits and exports of those I went through my cell phone photos did the uh, calling and edited and ex exported those and then I even went and copied all of the daily HDR um, images and put them into one folder and I imported those into Lightroom so what I'll do is I'll <clears throat> go go inside of Lightroom and I'll go and, and call and pick or at least remove the ones that aren't that good and then the uh, the uh, there's a few that I gotta like straighten in terms of like kind of like cropping adjustments to straighten them out to um, fix the horizon and stuff like that and there's a few that I do need to call that had um, trails like blurry or ghosting they call it in HDR but um, the HDR stuff looks pretty pretty good, pretty good. Just doing the default Photomatics uh, HDR setting. And uh, I'm trying to think what's left. I think I need to get, um, 
Oh, I'm sorry. I think what I went through and did was I went through Nikki's point and shoot camera photos, and I went through my dad's point and shoot camera photos, and then I did my cell phone. I don't think I did Nikki's cell phone photos because she only gave me days one through three. She still has the um, last half of the vacation to give me for her cell phone photos, and then that's it. That should be it for the um, pictures, and then uh, I'll move on to the um, what's it called the I'll move on to the um, video and all that. So that's gonna be or take a while. Um, I politely kind of told the guy from the eBay thing to fuck off. He's like, so, um, were you able to find that other card still that you owe me and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, like, I sent you extra shit. Like, I thought we were square. Like, that's all I got. I'm like, I, you know, I'm like, um, you know, he's like, well, if you don't have the card, maybe, like, you can just refund me back some money for that card or pick, cover the cost of buying that other card. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, dude. So he's like, oh, I'm, I, I knew I shouldn't have left good feedback for you on eBay and blah 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 now I'm gonna have to go and add a, a new update for the feedback and this and that I'm like dude like I've been dealing with people for fucking years and this is why I because he was like asking me if I could leave feedback for him and I'm like huh so I think he's like mad that he left me positive feedback and I didn't do the same but I'm like fuck you dude like what what do you want what's probably happening is this guy bought a full set of 50 cards for me. He comes back and tells me that four are missing. And he's getting me to send him those four. And then he wanted three or four other cards that he gave me a little bit extra money, uh, other money for. So he, he's, you know, he's getting, so far he's gotten like seven extra cards. What that fucking tells me is that he probably bought my full set. And then he's saying that cards are missing, and then he's going to complete his other set that he has in the background, and then he can just sell off one of those at some point and recoup his fucking money. So fuck this guy. That's what's happening. I went through those goddamn cards before I shipped them out, the 50, the, the 50 card set, and made sure that there were 50 cards there, and when I was going through them, there weren't any of the wrong cards that he says there were in there. They, they're, um... There's two different sets of these silver foil cards. There's a matte set and a glossy set. The glossy set is thick fucking card stock, like baseball or basketball cards, like normal cards. The the matte that he bought, they're really thin. They're literally like almost like thin stickers. So they're more rare, they're harder to get and all that, and they're worth more. So fuck this guy, man. I literally held the whole stack in my hand and when I went through them. So he's he he's mad at me for some fucking reason because he said oh, I gave him the wrong cards or something and he's owed this and it's fair and blah 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 and I'm like fuck you dude so I'm, I'm done with it I told I said listen you want any money back send me back all of the cards in caps send me back all of the cards and I'll give you back your money plus your shipping costs to send the shit back to me because I'm fucking done with this transaction that's what I told him this is at like 345 in the morning like, I don't have time to deal with this fucking dipshit. So sick of scammers, so skip, sick of all these fuck, fucking guys that want something for nothing. Unreal. I'll take the cards back. I'll figure out how to get those fucking cards that are supposedly missing, because this guy's a dick, dickwad, um, or whatever. And I'll fucking keep the motherfucker. Or I'll throw it in the garbage and burn it and send him the picture of it being fucking thrown in the garbage. Because fuck him. Dumb motherfuckers, dude. This is why I fucking hate using eBay. Because they take fees for every piece of the transaction. They take fees for listing it. They take fees for selling it. PayPal takes fees, which is eBay, for uh, using freaking PayPal. And then they protect the buyer for when... Uh, Shit like this happens. This didn't happen. This guy is fabricating all this fucking bullshit. So I'm like, you know what, dude? Go fuck yourself. I didn't say that to him like that way, but I said, listen, you want any money back? Send me back all of the cards. I'll pay you fucking all the money back. I don't even give a shit. Over $130, $140? Fuck off, dude. I'll, uh, you can have the money. Uh, it's not, it's, this isn't worth my time. I got way bigger things to deal with and problems and issues to, to worry about. 
Um, I, I can only be pushed so far. You know, I tried to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. And then, you know, when he's like, oh, uh, you have other cards? Well, yeah, can you look and see if you have these other ones too? And I'm like, what are you doing, fucking guy? I know what he's doing. So now I'm trying to determine, do I go and leave, like, shitty feedback for this guy? He has, like, I don't even know. He has, like, 10,000 feedbacks and zero negatives. And I'm just, like, really contemplating fucking this guy over. That way he, uh, he'll remember. Because guys like that, they get really shitty, man. That's why he was getting really weird. Because he's like, um, hey, uh, I left you feedback. Can you leave me feedback? This is like Saturday or Sunday when I was still traveling. Um, hey, I, I went out, uh, went ahead and left you positive feedback. Can you can you go ahead and, and leave me some good feedback too? And I'm like, what is this guy doing? He wants me to leave the feedback and then he'll contest it and say, oh, um, it's not working. I need my money back. Fucking guy. And then, yeah. So, wow. So that's that. I'm over it. I don't even give a shit anymore. So, I mean, I, I guess I got a little bit of power because I can still have the option to leave feedback and, and kind of screw him. Which, at this point, I don't know. We're going to see if he, if he wants to stay shitty about it. Because his last email, I emailed him at like 3 and kind of told him like, dude, like, I thought we were square. Like, what, what's the fucking problem here? And then he started, then his second email, he got a little shitty back to me. And I'm like, whatever, dude. He's like, no, I'm not trying to, no one's trying to take advantage here and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have gone out on a limb and left you positive feedback before this is done and this and that. And I said, dude, like, I, I replied to him. I said, this is why I don't leave fight feedback until transactions are done. Because I've dealt with this so many times. So I'm like, whatever, dude. Um... I'm headed into work. I'm actually running pretty late today, so uh, I'm tired again. Like I said, I've been up since um, what was it? What did I say? Like two? I think I got back to sleep around 4:30. It's just this this week just the time changes and all that. It's, it's just rough. I don't want to say this week sucks. I mean, I'm okay. I'm fine. Um, the schedule is kind of a bag of shit. Oh, I I was able over my lunch break yesterday to watch the the last two Game of Thrones episodes that I missed. So the first one aired when I was in Hawaii. The second one aired Sunday, and Easter Sunday. And I don't, I don't have cable at the house. So yeah, I just, uh, I, I was able to find those or procure those episodes. And man, next week or this upcoming week is gonna be dank as fuck, man. It's gonna be awesome. So um, I can't, I uh, can't wait. Um, I'm trying to think what's going on. Not much, man. It just, it sucks that Nikki's sick and she's, you know, at home and I can't take care of her. She's taken off work yesterday. She's taken off work today. And, uh, it's just been, it's just been rough. You know, like, I, I wish I could be there more for her and stuff, but... It's just awkward as fuck, you know, like, her parents are there all the time, I can't, uh, we can't do our own thing, and it just, it sucks, it really does. Um, her parents are talking about her, asking about going to Lake Carroll, but I don't think we can make that happen, so Grant has a game on Saturday. Um, Jess asked me if I wanted to run a 5K Saturday morning with her, that's really close to here so I was thinking about doing something like that and then um, Sunday is picture day for baseball so Grant has baseball pictures on Sunday and I need to uh, be here for that so there's just so much going on man. but uh, yeah so like I said tomorrow Grant has some sort of uh, uh, career day type of thing or set up and um, it should be uh, it should be fun but it's just gonna be a long day tomorrow oh you're going left here huh okay um, I'm gonna be late to work 
So, I what I'm going to do is take all of the exported images from Hawaii, put them all in like one folder. So I'll have one folder that has all the daily good camera photos. It'll have um, HDR um, keepers. It'll have my cell phone images, Nikki's cell phone images, and then my point and shoot camera images, and then her point and shoot. So it's going to be a lot of fucking media, but it'll all be in one nice compact spot. So that'll be nice. Um, that's the plan. And then I can move on to the uh, video. Um, still got to get this looked at. It's, um, I don't know. Let them know, like, hey, I'm going to maybe contact the dealer, see what they want in terms of a quote to get that replaced or repaired. Um, and then, I don't know, I guess go to a body shop or two. There's one by my work. There's one by my house. And just try to get some quotes for that stuff. So, we'll see what they say. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for more. All right, guys, so I'm just getting out of work for lunch, and I'm going to take my car to the, um, there's a body shop right by my work, so I'm going to go there now. Uh, I, I don't know, well, I'm just going to go talk to them. I don't know if they can get me in, or, or I should see, give me a quote by looking at it now, or if I need to come back and make an appointment for another day or something like that, but um, we'll find out. Um, yeah, so I'm really getting a good handle on all this media from uh, Hawaii. So I'm pretty much done processing, editing, and going through and culling all the photos that we shot. So that's with my 5D Mark IV, my dad's point and shoot, my cell phone, Nikki's point and shoot, her cell phone. Um, looking like we're in good shape so it's somewhere all the all the images that uh, after culling somewhere in the neighborhood of keeping around uh, 2300 images um, it's a lot of photos a lot of photos just under about 40 gigs of photos and that's for two copies so I always export everything in full resolution detail and I do a second copy in web quality so um, but yeah, that's a lot of files, a lot of files. So that is just the photos, and yeah, I'm making a backup copy from my new external. I'm copying it from my new external to my old external. There's still, still some space left. Um, when I get home, I'll plug that in and back it up to my NAS. And probably what I'll do is, I don't know when or how, but I will start uploading all of these to something like um, Shutterfly or whatever too. So that way I also have an offline or a, I should say a cloud backup of the images. So I'm almost to Gerber Collision and Glass, so yeah, let's see what they say. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. I just got out of the uh, collision place and I, I did have to wait about 10 minutes. They were all in, in a meeting when I got there, so I just had to wait for them to get out of the meeting and stuff. And uh, I am uh, headed to uh, back to work already. Um, I should probably get something to eat. Maybe I'll just go to McDonald's or something. But uh, she said she'll email me a quote over in about 15 minutes or so. Simple enough. Um, I did not make an appointment or anything like that for this. So I'm just happy they were able to take care of me or at least check it out or whatever. But. Uh, she got a picture of my VIN and took some pictures of the damage or whatever and should be good to go but uh, what was I going to say, um, that wasn't bad at all. Um, I'm tired, you know, it's still still just getting used to this time change uh, with traveling and stuff, I mean it's, that was, I think that's one of the biggest time changes you can have without like switching days. Um, Hawaii isn't far from like the international date line, which is, uh, I believe where it swaps over days, or I don't know exactly what that means, but I mean, it, where I'm going with that is it's a five hour time change. It's a long, um, it's a big, big swing in time difference. You know, it's morning when it's still middle of the night. It's morning here when it's still middle of the night there and stuff like that. So, um. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't have much else to talk about. I'm just kind of getting going through here. I, I still need to go through my the video footage from Hawaii, which that's going to take a week or two. And I still need to finish up those um, photos for that engagement party. And then I need to go through my bills and see what kind of money I have. I think I'm just going to cash out all of my stocks and pay off my credit card and be done. So, yeah. Grant got some baseball blackout. It'll help him see the pop-up balls better. Hmm. Thanks, Grandpa. Grandma, you want me? Practice swing, practice swing. Strike three, bud. Hey, good job. Good job. You got some good swings in. Better. Good job, good job.
Tag him, tag him. Tom, who's catching next? <laughs> Thank you. 